I reckon y'all can see me. Ooh, how is everybody on this Tuesday? Oh, Jesus, my feet is a-hurting, honey. My feet is a-hurting. I'm not going to be on here too long. just wanted to come and say hello. It is cold today. I had to put me on a turtleneck, honey. It is cold. Oh, Jesus. You deserve my praise. You deserve our praise. Oh, Jesus. I'm not doing nothing. Not one thing. Ain't even got nothing to talk about. Y'all know why I cannot understand for the life of me? I got a speak a preaching engagement to go to on the twenty seventh of this month. And I've been inviting folk, you know. <laughs> and you know how you invite people to stuff and you be like, Well, I saw so and so and I told them and you know well I saw you know when you know when you invite certain people and you know they know other people that you wanna invite. So you be like, Well when you see such and such, tell them and then and then they say, Oh, well we don't get along. What? And then, you know, you see somebody else and say, you know, well, I want you to come, be glad to see you. Well, let such and such know when you see them, because you know they family, and some of them attend the same churches, and, you know, some of them in the same working ministry together. And you be like, well, when you see so-and-so, tell them. And then they be like, well, we don't get along. How in the world is all these Christian folk serving the Lord? in ministry, but we don't get along. What is that all about? How are you not getting along with some, you know, I understand sometimes we have difficulties in life, and I know everybody don't agree, but when it comes to the point where you can't even speak to an individual, but you serving God, something is wrong. That shouldn't be in the body of Christ. I understand, okay, we might not can't sit down and go out to eat, you know, you might not invite people over to your house, you know, for whatever reason. But to speak with people. And I even believe that you can attend the same function with somebody that don't care much about you. I believe you got the love, hey, how you doing? I believe you got the love of God shed abroad in your heart that you're able to work and function around anybody. Now, I know the people in the world fight and fuss and cuss and, you know, can't, you know, set horses together and all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to the body of Christ, why in the world are we in ministry? I mean, these are the leaders. And people that's been in church all their lives, honey. Why is it as leaders and ministers and, and just good old saved people, why you can't get along with your sister and brother? Somebody's walking in unforgiveness and somebody just don't want to just don't want to forgive. You got to learn how to operate in the spirit of forgiveness. We really do, and I'm gonna tell you, I know there's some things that's hard. To forgive some folks for. Trust me, I know, I understand that. But they got to come a point in your life where you got to count it all as zero. You got to count it all as God is in your hand, it's in your care. I'm going to forgive and I'm going to move on. But when it comes to the point where you're around here living life, not speaking to your sister and brother because you got something in your heart against them. Now, I'm not talking about you want to speak to your sister and brother, but they don't speak back to you. Not not those, uh, not those a situation like that. 
And I probably didn't just say that right. But anyway, if you walk, if you a person that's walking around, check your own temperature. If you a person that's walking around with hatred in your heart for your sister or brother in the body of Christ or for people in your family, and you in leadership and you call yourself a Christian, the Bible said you are a liar and the truth ain't in you. Because how can you love God whom you never seen and hate your sister and brother? Something wrong. Something, something wrong with that. You have been deceived. You're not going to see no part of the kingdom of God. You better get that stuff right while the blood is running warm in your vein, whatever it may be. Now, you got the right to choose whatever you want to. You can choose to go to your grave and not never forgive somebody. That is your choice. God give us all the free will, and you can choose just that. You can say, well, I ain't going to never forgive them for what they done or what they said. That's your choice, but I promise you, you shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. And I'm just going to tell you, ain't nobody, no act, nothing that somebody do is going to cause me to spend the rest of my life in an eternal fire, separated from God. It just ain't going to happen. It's just not going to happen. We got to forgive everybody for everything that they've ever done to us. That's right. And that don't mean you got to be at their house every day. I ain't talking, you ain't got to do that. But you can forgive people and you go on and they go on. And and generally don't, you know, because you, you got some people out here that, you know, they're just bad people. And, and and even in your family. You got people in your family that's just shysters. They're bad people. You love them, but you know you can't deal much with them. You don't wish them no harm. You're not out trying to plot against them. You ain't wishing, you know what I'm saying? You wish the best for them. But you know you can't be around them because they're just not good people. Everybody got a devil in their family, or a couple of them. People that just ain't good. And you got people like that that's in the ministry too, but it shouldn't be. You shouldn't have leaders that hate one another. You shouldn't. Pastors and leaders, people that's in the body, we shouldn't be hating one another. Oh, I don't talk to them. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> All right, I had to pull the camera up some. Oh, so, I'm telling you, it's a time now, y'all. Get you, Let's get ourselves together. Let's come to God with, with open heart. Because time is ran out. Time is ran out, honey. It is absolutely ran out. And it will be in your best interest. Go and get it settled. Hey, you might not can't even apologize to people because, you know, sometimes people don't want to hear nothing you got to say. They don't want no apology from you. They don't want to hear your, your voice or nothing. You can't do nothing about that. But if you have done everything you can to get it right with somebody, that's all you can do. That's all you can do. And God honors that. God will honor that. It's just like if you owe somebody money or credit or some money. As long as you was working on it, God say, I'm working on it, Lord. God will honor your efforts, what you did. You can say, well, Lord, me and this person, we ain't getting along. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and God, I'm just ready to say, let's forgive, forgive and forget and move on. But they don't want to accept my apology. You can't help, you can't, you can't help what other people won't do. But what you do, what's right. You do the right thing by that person. Don't wish them no ill will, you know. And, and, and wish him good in your heart. See, because God know our heart. He know how we feel about one another. That's one thing we can't do. We can't hide nothing from God. That's why I say, why walk around here trying to be being fake? Why walk around here being phony? The Lord, the righteous judge, that's going to show enough judges one day. According to our heart. Why would we walk around here and be fake? And pretend? It's a waste of time. 
And like I said, do what you want to do, baby. I can't tell you what not to do, but I'm going to tell you this here. They ain't nobody going to offend me so bad where I, I go to hell. I ain't going. I'm not going to be forever separated from the Lord. I'm just not going to do it. Mm-mm. 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 Because this thing is real, honey. Salvation is real. Heaven, hell is real. Every day, God give us 24 hours in a day. He give us plenty of time to get it right. Get it right. Life is short, honey. And we right here we're talking about oh I don't I don't we don't get along, we don't talk. Mm mm. Mm mm. There ain't nobody that that I, I I'm gonna go to hell for. Not doing it. No, and 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 plus on um, besides that, I gotta have a relationship with the Lord. If you got anger or hatred in your heart towards somebody, you ain't got no connection with God. Mm mm. You praying to yourself, honey. You getting happy and getting revelations from your own self. <laughs> you being deceived. That's a deceptive spirit ministering to you. Because if you got hatred in your heart towards anybody, you ain't connecting to God. It don't work that way. The Bible says it. The Bible says, lay your gift at the altar and go apologize and get it right with your brother and sister. You can't override the word of God. You can't. You can sit up there all you want talking about, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm praying to the Lord and God done this and God, you, will you do that? Honey, your prayers are bouncing straight off the ceiling. They ain't reaching God because you cannot walk around with hatred in your heart. And a lot of times that might be why you're sick a lot. Hatred can make you be sick. Hatred, stress, all that stuff play a part on your health. It sure do. If you forgive somebody, hey, you might get you might get healed from something. Ain't that right? If you forgive somebody, your kidneys might start functioning. If you forgive somebody, you might be able to see. Your sight might come back. I'm telling, there's some hard stuff. But I declare you got to give it to God. And God will give you the grace to forgive everybody that you need to forgive. You, we can hide it from people. Yeah. You can, you know, we can hide good from people. And think we all right with people in our hearts, honey. God see our hearts. And I know we do. I ain't got nothing to hide from me. Here I am, God. Yes. Yeah, I am. But what you gonna do? Your show ain't gonna get you. You ain't gonna be hearing from God. And I need, I need a word from the Lord myself. I do. I, I need the Lord. I need the God to hear me. I need the Lord to hear me. So anyway, oh, I just thought I'd come on and share that right quick. Oh, we don't get along. We don't talk to them, and you are you in you in you are you a Christian, and you in ministry. Walking around here hating somebody, not not getting along with people, don't even speak to people. Child, you deceived. That's all it is. You deceived. Shouting and speaking in tongues. Child, them is demons. Them is lying spirits. Them is demons. Mm-mm. One thing I know, God love people, honey. And you can't mistreat people. You can't do it. The Bible say, vengeance is mine. That's right. I don't care what people do to you. You can't take it upon yourself to mistreat somebody. That's right. You got to let God deal with it. You do. You sure do. You can't be out here doing stuff and, and hating folk. You wouldn't have to buy so much medicine if you didn't hate people. But hey, it's my, my salvation is too important. And yours should be too important. It's too important. 
to walk around here and be deceived. And when and when you die and stand before God, you gonna go to hell because you wouldn't forgive Sally Sue. Do you see how unbalanced that is? Do you see how unimportant that is? Think about it. I'ma give up my eternal my eternity. Because Sally Sue did something to me. And I walked around earth all my 70, if the Lord let you live 72 years. I lived 72 years and never forgave Sally Sue. Now I have stepped over into a glorified body. And now I'm going to spend eternity in a lake of fire with all kind of demons. And separated from the love and the grace of God because I wouldn't forgive Sally Sue and Jim Bob. Is that worth it? What is worth that? Child, you better forgive Sally Sue and them and let them go on. Because guess what? Holding something against somebody, it ain't going to make you no better. Ain't going to make them no better. It ain't. That's why I have learned, y'all, when, when folks do stuff to me, which I don't know too many people that do stuff to me, actually, because y'all know everybody loves me. But when I have a disagreement or an issue with somebody, you know what I say? Lord, change me. Change me. I was listening to Bishop T.D. Jakes preach, honey, and T.D. Jakes was saying that you can work around anthrax if you got on the right equipment. If you suit yourself up with the right protective gear, you can work around any deadly chemical. So, if you get up and put on the whole arm of God, you can work around any any deadly person or any evil person. So that's why I say, Lord, change me. Help me, equip me to work around all kind of spirits. And guess what? The Lord has done just that. Baby, I can work around a witch. I can. I can. Now, they don't be around me too long, honey. Not too long. But I can work around anything, honey. I can. Because I've done it. And am doing it. Jesus. Because I ask God, equip me, Lord. Give me the grace. To know how to work around anybody in all situations. And God does just that. Because let me tell you, you ain't going to get me so mad and full of hate that I'm going to give up my salvation and spend eternity in hell. You ain't worth it. And nobody else ain't worth it either. Oh, Lord, this big old white shirt make me look so big.